Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio Debut, you have access to the following camera tools. Track, Zoom, and Roll. Essentially, all of these tools will move your layers in different ways on the project file, giving off the illusion that you are moving a camera across the project. To access these tools, look to your left toolbar and click on the camera with a plus sign underneath the camera panel. Now moving your cursor to the middle of your canvas, click and hold down your mouse button and drag the mouse around to track the camera. You'll notice that you can move the camera in any direction. You may also notice from my project file that my foreground elements are moving faster than the background elements, and this is because the road and the ground are closer to the camera than the mountains or the sky, and I adjusted this with the Move Layer Tool's depth settings. Next, let's check out the Zoom tool. So click on the Camera Zoom tool. Come over here to your canvas. Hold down your mouse button and drag downward with the mouse. This will zoom in. This is great if you want to emphasize something that's going on in the scene. Go up to zoom out. The last tool is the roll camera. And it does like you would think it would. It rolls the scene. So if you click down your mouse button and hold and drag and go to the left, you will move counterclockwise. If you go to the right, you'll move clockwise. If you wish to adjust the camera tools numerically, you can do that. If you look at the top, you'll see that you have an option to enter in a number for the roll. So if we put in another number, let's say 45, you'll see that the roll changes accordingly. You can hit reset to bring the roll back to its default. You can do the same for all of the camera tools. So for the zoom in, you can adjust the zoom value and reset. And for the position of the camera, you can adjust the X, Y, and Z. X is horizontal, Y is vertical, and Z is depth. So if you want to bring the camera physically into the project file or further away from the project file, you can do so with the Z value. And of course, you can also reset the values at any time. Finally, you can animate the camera movements out. To demonstrate this, let's go into the timeline to about frame 30 and then take the track tool and move the camera a little bit. We can use the zoom tool as well, as well as the roll. So now when we page through here, you can see we have the camera animating out between zero and 30 on the timeline. And those are the basics of the camera movements. When used properly, you can create some powerful effects with these tools. So practice and play with them, and before you know it, you'll be creating some stellar effects for your animations. For more information on Anime Studio or any of its tools, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. I have more tutorials out there, so check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.